I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how I made my Ari orb. Um, essentially, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the plastic orb. You're going to need a blue light on the inside. A bit of this cotton wadding stuff, which is for stuff in like beds and pillows and stuff like that. And terps is what I use, which is a bit weird, but I'll explain why. And also um, just the paint to go on the inside of it. And I'll explain stuff about the paint as well. So essentially you start off by getting the orb and you want to rub terps all over it. The only reason I actually did this is because my, um, my orb actually had sticky tape on it and it looked really disgusting with that granular stuff all over it. So I took it off and then realized that it discolored the ball. It like scratches it almost. So, and it actually looks pretty cool. It makes it look clouded and it distorts the light a bit better. So I started off doing that. Once that's dry, you go on step two, which is actually painting the inside of the orb. So you start off with a light blue and just like going swirly motions, going from the inside out, leave that to dry on both halves. And then you go in with a darker blue and starting from the inside, I don't know whether you can quite see it, but you start it from the inside and you just do kind of a swirl outwards and do some dry brushing on it, make it look cool. Make sure that your two halves actually connect though. So you don't have like awkward mismatching spirals. Otherwise people are going to, think you're a bit special and then leave that to dry once that's dry then you go in put some dobs of glue all over the inside and in small bits put this wadding on the inside of it one that's to distort it a bit but um two it's also to um make sure that the lights on the inside aren't actually scratching the paint off because i've looked at a few videos and the paint was scratching off so um and then once that's done it should be all good you can alter how much stuffing's inside of it due to how much you think that you need if it's too bright you put more in if it's too dark you take a bit out easy stuff um make sure you turn this off throughout the day if you're going to a convention otherwise it will just completely die on you this one's actually lasted me quite a long time and it cost me like three dollars. eBay is amazing. Um, but main pressure point that I'd say that I had was one, the ball is plastic and it can crack. Mine rolled off the table and dropped onto the, a carpeted floor and I don't know if you can see it but it's got a crack in it. I mean you can easily fix that with hot glue but it means that anytime you're doing a photo you have to make sure you're on the right side which is all pretty and nice but um and also the second pressure point i'd have to say is the paint this is plastic and if you ever did you know school art you'll know that paint doesn't stick to plastic so even acrylic paint make sure you test it on a like a chinese food container lid first and that'll tell you whether it's actually going to stick on the orb or whether it's going to look streaky and veiny and stuff like that like it did for mine until I found one paint that actually worked. So maybe like when you're in the store buying it, ask if you can test the paint on a piece of plastic. But other than that, yeah, you can add some flour into the paint if it's not quite working for you. See if that works, but not too much. Otherwise it just goes grainy. I got the inspiration from my orb from this girl on YouTube. Please go look at her page. It's awesome. I'll link it in the description for you guys. And I'll also link in there all the stuff that I used for my orb to make your guys' life a bit easier. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much. Tell me what you think about it. You love it. You hate it. Tell me. And I might do a few more if you guys like it that much. Thanks so much, guys.